Hey guys, thanks for joining me again for another installment of 26 Ways to Letter on YouTube. Today is all about letter C. There are lots of ways to letter C. So, get your brush pens, let's get started. At the end of the video, I will be sharing the word of the week. I got a lot of good suggestions from last week for a good C word. Before you leave here, make sure you comment below with an uplifting word starting with D so I can choose one for the video next week. Let's get started. All right, 26 ways to letter C. So today I'll be using my Kiritake Zig Brushables. I will link to them on Hobby Lobby as well as on Amazon. I believe they're a lot more expensive on Amazon though. I really like these markers. They are double-sided. Both sides are brush tips, but they are all different colors. So I have a pack of 12 pens, but there are 24 colors. So let's get started. C can seem boring because it's just this one stroke, but you just have to focus on the little details and the things that make up a C and you'll be creating lots of different C's in no time. So the basic stroke is pretty simple. Start on this side, thick down stroke, thin up stroke. So on this one you can see it's a little bit skinnier right there and my exit stroke comes up a lot higher. And on this one, it's just the opposite of that where the top part is kind of overhanging and this may not be able to connect very well to another letter. Maybe that's what you want. On this one, the overhanging is pointing towards the C. And then on this one, there's a little notch, so it's almost like it's a serif style. And then it extends pretty far, so this one there might be able to be a lot more space in between the letters. This one just has a very long entrance stroke. And it's kind of funny, it's kind of like squished this way <laughs> instead of this way. And this one, it looks like that could be the end of a word. Or this could stand alone because it kind of gets fat at the end right there. It gets thicker. This one is very big. This one is fun. It has a thick top part and bottom part. The entrance and exit. So I just come back in at the end. Make those thick. This one has almost that serif again, but it's a lot smaller than that one. See that one I put more pressure on the serif. This one is just little not as much pressure. Here's a little curly one. This one almost looks like it's a horn or something. And there's not much of a thick downstroke on that one either. And then this one right here, it's not very thick coming down and we have a very long entrance stroke. But see how there's really not much change in the difference between thick and thin for the upstroke and downstroke. So now on to uppercase letters. This one has a nice little curly. <laughs> I was having a hard time getting it the same thickness. And remember that's okay. So if you see the gray spots, under your letters, you don't have to get this exactly right. If you are using this to trace, the point is that you're creating your own. All right, this one 
is pretty wide. It almost looks like it could just continue to be a pretty nice circle. This one, once again, has the thick and thick right there. It's only thin in between. So I'm gonna start out and then when I'm done, I'll come back in to finish off the thick right there. All right, this one's got little tiny serifs. And then this one right here, this one's kind of fun. It's wide at the top, skinny at the bottom, but it's also really tall and kind of skinny. This one, we've got a lot of curly flourishing going on. And this one definitely would not connect to another letter, I guess unless you continued that on, but there would be a lot of bulk there to be able to connect that to another letter. This one has another fun flourishing just at the top. This one is curly, curling to the inside on both. It's a little bit thicker right there at the start. This one's really fun. It's another one where it points into itself, but it's really thick. So I'll start thin right there and then finish up the thick at the end. This one is just one simple curve, curve flourish. So it has that entrance stroke, but then it's still just really simple. One thing with this one that you have to watch out for is not making it look too much like an E. So you'll just have to look at your word, your letter, and make sure that it is obviously a C. Here's a really tall and skinny one. The, the bottom part right here comes up a lot higher than the top part. This one's fun, leaving some space inside to make it look like it's thicker than it actually is. And this downstroke, the one on the outside, is really thick. I put a lot of pressure on it, but this one, not so much. And this almost looks like raindrops at the end. So now, like always, you get to decide which one of these you like, or if you don't like any, maybe you like a part of one and have your own ideas. So you get to create your own. Try lettering 26 ways of your own C without looking at what I just did. Try it. Now it's time for the word of the week. Remember, you can practice this word as well if you want to share on social media use the hashtag fearless lettering or fearless friday letters i got a lot of really good suggestions for c words to use over on my instagram account so i'm choosing one that was the most common and this is also a quote from a book i've been reading by Brene brown the book is called daring greatly and i think you'll really like this quote This is my Tombow Fude Soft Nib.
Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to comment below with an uplifting D word that you want to see next week. And subscribe if you want to see more. See you next week.